morning, Cersei High School. Today is Friday, December 2nd. I'm Lauren Smith. And I'm Noah Summerland. On today's show, we'll have announcements from around campus, Brooklyn Morgan with updated five casts, Brooke Frazier with a story over local theater program, and Brendan Adams with updated Cersei sports. Let's get right into the news. The Carmichael Center will not be administering a driver's test on Friday, December 2nd. YAC is doing a children's book drop to support kids in need of books around the community. If you have any books, please drop them by your English class by the end of this week. Please help support this great cause. Just a quick reminder that Christmas break will start on December 23rd and school will resume on January 9th. Recently, Center on the Square hosted its annual Christmas Kids Stage production. This program was created in order to inspire children to pursue theater and drama in the future. Lucky for us, Brooke Frazier was able to stop by and sit down with some of the kids and volunteers who, can, who contribute to this wonderful program. Here she is with that story. Around Christmas each year, Center on the Stage hosts the Kids Stage, which is a children's theater program. This organization allows students from 2nd to 12th grade to express themselves in different ways. So we decided to take a closer look at how things are run. So just finding the moments of balance where one serves both um, is, is the most challenging but rewarding part because when it happens, it's awesome. The children involved in Kids Stage participate in different ways and enjoy the program for varying reasons. Before every first show, I'm always a little nervous. And even though I've done this before, um, except for the first time, and then for the rest, I'm just fine. <laughs> I've always been a comfortable kid. I've never been insecure, but this has helped me like show who I really am. This organization serves as an escape from hectic lives for some kids. Um, I just love being a different person every time I go. I do it to not be stressed anymore and I can just come here and have fun. Just like that all night long. Therapy games later, but first came the beast as all the ghost fruits got the card the roast beast. After the children were assigned their roles and the parts they played, many were so excited they spent several days preparing to be the characters they would play. At my house, I before we started like dress rehearsal week, I put up my tree in my room. And since it's Christmassy and I'm supposed to like love Christmas, I always look at my tree and just pretend it's Christmas Day and like I'm super excited. This year I just, uh, I worked on how I would act, how what I would say, what I'd look like, and um, how people would see me. There are many different aspects of working towards a performance, but certain experiences stand out to the kids more than others. My favorite part of kids stage is probably the part right before it when everybody is really excited to start the play. Being able to talk with other people like my age and stuff, it's really good and it helped me come out of my comfort zone. I just like being on a stage. I like wearing costumes. I like the lines. I like the songs. I just like everything about it. The directors put numerous hours in, so their hearts have to be in the right place. The rewards lie in the joy on the children's faces. It's not about money, really. It's not even always about the experience for your resume. It's this kind of environment, the kids are awesome and they work so hard that it's so fun when it finally starts to come together and they light up. It's magical, like it's infectious. When the guys understand what they're doing, our little guys get it, they're having fun, and then I can step back and watch. It's good to watch them feel confident that they've got it down and it's good to see that what you've given to them has, has paid off. We appreciate all the hard work which has been put into this program and love having such a fantastic part of our community. Back to the news desk. Wow, that was such an amazing and heartwarming story. I will be sure to contribute to Kids Stage in the near future and even maybe participate in a musical or two. That was our very own Brooke Frazier with that package. ASUBV will be on campus today to enroll students for on-campus concurrent enrollment classes. Also, they are willing to enroll any student who has completed the paperwork to take off-campus concurrent classes at the same time. They will be located in the library computer lab. 
Concurrent teachers will have the on-campus enrollment papers available in their classrooms. Off-campus concurrent enrollment papers are located in the Guidance Center with, with Ms. Roddy. Now we have Brooklyn Morgan to bring us an updated forecast and tell us how long this cold weather will last. Good morning, Cersei. Today we will have a high of 59, mostly sunny skies, a 0% chance of rain, winds going east-southeast at 3 miles per hour, humidity of 61%, and your sun rose at 658. Let's go on to tonight. Tonight we will have a low of 41 with cloudy skies, a 20% chance of rain, winds going northeast at 2 miles an hour, humidity at 78%, and your sun will set at 454. On to the almanac. Our average high is 55 and our average low is 33, which is pretty accurate to what we're at right now. Our monthly average of precipitation is 5.04 inches and our month today is 0 inches. On to our 5 cast. Saturday we will have 90% chance of rain with 48 as our high and 40 as our low. Sunday we will have AM showers, 48 is your high, 39 is your low with 50% chance of rain. Monday, we will have a 90% chance of rain, 49 high and 43 low. Tuesday, we will have partly cloudy skies with 57 as our high and 39 as our low. And Wednesday, we will have PM showers, high of 52, low of 29, and a 60% chance of rain. Looks like this week we're going to have a couple of rainy days, but I'm ready for some snow. Yeah, we better prepare ourselves because winter is coming pretty fast. It is. All right, let's look at lunch. Today for lunch, we'll be having chili with beef and beans and mini saltine crackers or mini corn dogs with mustard, smiles, potatoes with ketchup, creamy coleslaw, fresh grapes, brownies, and milk. Now we have Brendan Adams with sport updates and what to watch now that football season is over. Thank you, Noah. Last night, the wrestling team took on Greenbrier and Baseball Southside, and tomorrow, the wrestling team will gear up to head to Little Rock to participate in the Little Rock Central Tournament. We wish them the best of luck. Tuesday, the Lady Lions and Lions basketball team faced off against the Sheridan Yellow Jackets. The Lady Lions played a wonderful game. Here are some highlights. Ali Brown fakes out a defensive player and makes the floater for two. Ali Brown passes the ball to Courtney Van Winkle, who hits the layup. Ali Brown passes the ball to Latiana Floyd, who passes it to Courtney Van Winkle, who makes the fadeaway. Kayla Churchill passes to Sydney Hicks, who drains the jumper. Now for the men's game. The Lions game came down to the wire. Sheridan got called for a loose ball foul, which put Michael Money on the foul line for two free throws. Here's Jake Williamson with the call. Michael Money to shoot two free throws for the Lions. Here he goes. They're going to give him the ball. Here we go. Michael Money to shoot. Michael Money to shoot. It's up. He got it! He got it! Michael Money got it! He got it! He got it! He got it! Michael Money got it! He got it! He got it! He missed it! We caught up with Michael Money to get his thoughts on his game-winning shot. Um, very excited, happy to to make the shot and not let my team down. Lots of free throws just during practice uh, by myself. Um, set up situations where, like, down two, two free throws, stuff like that. The Cersei Bank Classic is going on all this weekend, so make sure to go out and support the Lions and cheer them on to the win. That's all I have for sports today. Back to the anchors. Thanks for those announcements, Brendan. I wish the basketball team and chess club the best of luck throughout their season. And that wraps up today's show. Once again, I'm Lauren Smith. And I'm Noah Summerland. If you miss an episode and you want to catch up, you can find us on LionPress.com and click on the Lion TV logo and also be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Have a good weekend, Cersei. Be sure to tune in next week for more Lion TV.